we're going to look at um, products of prime numbers. Let me get this paper nice and straight for you. Okay, so any number can be expressed as a product. So 8 can be expressed as 2 times 4. 5 can be expressed as 5 times 1. Now there's a difference between these two pairs. This um, is a product of prime numbers, and it can't be broken down any further. Um, you, you wouldn't want to keep writing 5 as 5 times 1. All right? You're not learning anything extra there. But we can see that the 4 could be written as 2 times 2. I'll just underline the 4 changed into 2 times 2. So now each number in this product is prime. And it would be pointless carrying on with it. We would just repeat 2 times 1, 2 times 1, 2 times 1. So we stop at this point when every number is prime. So if I move it up a little bit, I'd like to say we take 24, and we can say 24 is 3 times 8, or we could say 24 was 6 times 4. We're not finished yet, because this is um, can be broken down further to 2 times 4, the 8, and the 6 can be written as 2 times 3, and the 4 can be written as 2 times 2. And we come back on the left-hand side, 3 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2, changing that 4 at the end to 2 times 2. Now, with um, these, the multiplication, the order in which we write down the, the numbers makes no difference at all. So I'm going to write them smallest first. I've written one too many there. And so we've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And if we look at the other way that we did it, we also have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So it doesn't matter then what pair we actually start with. Okay, we end up with the same answer. So 24 equals 2 to the power 3 times 3. Okay, 24 equals 2 to the power 3 times 3. So let's um, try um, a couple of other ones. Let's try a larger number, something similar to what you might get in, in your exam. 84. Now we could break 84 into 2 times 42 by halving. And we should know that 42 is 6 times 7. And we can break that down to 2 times, and I'm changing the 6 now, to 2 times 3. I'll underline that so you can see what's going on. And the 2 and 7 were already done. So we now have 84 is 2, and we can write 2 squared as 2 times 2, times 3, times 7. So 84 as a product of primes is 2 times 2, or 2 squared times 3 times 7. So let's try something. Um, let's suppose we didn't know it was 6 times 7. What would have happened if we kept halving? And 84 equals 2 times 42 which equals 2 times, let's say we did 2 times 21. Now, at this stage, you've got to know that 21 is in your 3 times tables. And if you do, then you're going to get this correct. And well on your way to getting your pass grade in GCSE, I hope. So, um, and then again, we can write that as 2 squared, if we want to. So, one more to finish off, I'll take something slightly larger, get a clean bit of paper here. So let's take, say, something like 144. 144. So I'll start off when the uh, autofocus comes down. Equals uh, 2 times 72. Or I'll be Perhaps another student thought it was 12 times 12 to start with. It'll go both ways. So, 2 times 72, and you might write 72 as 2 times 36 by halving. Or, this way we might write our 12 as 3 times 4, and 3 times 4. So over to um, 2 times 2 times 36. 36 is 6 times 6. There are lots of different ways you can break this down. I'm just showing you a couple here. 3 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 2. And here we've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 for the first 6 times 2 times 3 for the second 6. So if we put them in order now, if we look at the 2s, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 to the power of 4 
times and we've got the 3 twice 3 squared. And you'll see exactly the same when we do it the other way. So it's 2 to the power of 4 times 3 squared. So that is products of primes.